So when we were planning the show, uh, I thought about my favorite things, some of my favorite things. One of them, I happen to love buffalo chicken wings. Um, I love buffalo sauce. I love anything to do with that. And then I also love a really great homemade macaroni and cheese. So very much on trend right now. You might have seen it at some of the restaurants. Um, buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Well, you know what? You can make it at home, too. It's a really fun, easy recipe, something a little different. This is the perfect weekend to maybe uh, stay home, make a casserole like this, treat the family, and it's very, very easy to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my pasta. I thought we'd be a little fancy here and do uh, penne pasta, but you could also just do elbow macaroni. I like some sort of uh, pasta where um, the sauce can get inside the tube. So like this, the penne, you know, in the penne, the sauce, can, creamy sauce can get inside that penne pasta. Same goes for the elbow back macaroni. So some sort of tubular pasta would be great. Now for the chicken, um, this is a great way to use leftover chicken. So if you have some leftover cooked chicken breasts, I love to, you know, Sunday is normally my big cooking day on the weekends, depending what I have going on Sunday. Usually that's a great day to, you know, uh, after church, get in my sweatpants and just stay home and do some cooking. So I like to roast up a bunch of chicken breasts at the same time and then use them in several different recipes for the week. So maybe, um, you know, chicken noodle soup and make a casserole or two. Uh, so that's a perfect way if you're going to be doing some cooking on Sunday to uh, make this casserole. You could also um, just pick up a rotisserie chicken, which, you know, are are fantastic in a pinch or in this case um, I just uh, diced up some boneless skinless chicken breasts and we're actually going to get those going. I just wanted to salt my pasta water and I've got a little olive oil or you could do butter in a skillet and I just uh, took my chicken breasts and put it into uh, bite-sized pieces. So it's up to you if you want to use pre-cooked chicken and just chop it up or in this case we've just got a, a couple of chicken breasts that I diced up and we're going to just brown them up a little bit. Ann, how are you doing today? Wonderful. Good. Good, good to hear. Do you have your costume all ready for tomorrow? Got the candy ready to hang, hand out? I'm a little nervous to see how um, Arlo, our dog, is going to do. So we have a new dog that we got over the summer, and he's a puppy. Well, he's a year and a half, and um, we've never had Halloween with him, so it's going to be interesting to see how the whole ding-dong thing goes. You can follow me on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm hoping I don't, don't have a, a costume yet for Arlo, so I have to go get a costume for Arlo. And uh, uh, so anyway, so I promise if I dress up Arlo, and, uh, and of course I'll take pictures of Ireland and put them on, Facebook and Instagram and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to season up my chicken breast with some salt and pepper, and I'm going to get to work on the, the sauce for this recipe, because that's really the fun part of this recipe. It's a little different. It's a wonderful creamy sauce with a hint of buffalo sauce, the wing sauce, which I just happen to absolutely love. And I'm looking for the top to that. Okay, that's all right. I guess we'll, we'll be okay without it. I just want to brown that chicken on both sides. So, and in a couple minutes, well, I can go ahead and flip it now, and then I'll get to work on the sauce. Hey, while I'm doing this, this is the perfect weekend to start talking about our next big night out. Come on, you got to go. Ann's going to be there. I'm going to be there. It is so much fun. Um, what we do is we go to a, a different local restaurant about every month or so. And these restaurants really pull out all the stops. So this time we're going to a place called Little Chicago in Kakana. It's a five course meal. Uh, we're gonna get a, our choice of a couple of wines and an after dinner dessert drink. It's all included. The courses start with a soup course, seafood chowder or their homemade tomato basil soup. Then a salad course, a strawberry salad with a homemade strawberry poppy seed vinaigrette. A steak course. So it's surf and turf. We get one course of steak, and you don't have to choose between the two, Anne. We get both. So it's steak Diane with a mushroom sauce and uh, baby red roasted potatoes. And then the next course is actually potato crusted haddock with asparagus and a cream sauce. And then for dessert, they've got some amazing chocolate cobbler that they serve warm, and they're serving that with a white dove ice cream drink. I mean, come on. This menu is like serious. 
serious good stuff. So call today to reserve your spot. The number's right there on the screen. Um, reservations for this are filling up quickly. It's, uh, the number is 920-462-4393. So we hope to see you there November 11th. Okay, let's start talking about this sauce. So the sauce... Uh, you can do this with your mixer, but uh, we found a really easy way to do it is right in your blender. You can do more than just milkshakes and smoothies in your blender. So I've got one block of softened cream cheese. You could certainly use the light cream cheese. I've got some blue cheese dressing, about a cup of blue cheese. If I happen to love blue cheese with my buffalo chicken uh, wings. If your family doesn't do blue cheese, ranch would be a, a perfectly acceptable substitute here. Anne would be all about the ranch, wouldn't you? Then we've got a half of a cup to three quarters of a cup, depends how spicy you want it, of your favorite buffalo wing sauce or just Frank's hot sauce, which the smell of this just makes me happy. So good. Two cloves of garlic. And then we love our Lamer's milk in the glass bottle. A cup and a half of Lamer's milk. I'm just going to measure that right into the same Last that I did the buffalo wing sauce in. Why not? Don't want to dirty another dish. Okay. And you'll notice in a lot of my casseroles, you're going to see quite a bit more liquid than you would in some of the casseroles um, that you are making. In this case, we're we're making pasta here. Pasta tends to really suck up whatever you know uh, sauce that you're going to put with it when you bake it. So yes, my um, my. Casserole recipes start out with a little more liquid, but at the end, you're going to be left with a really nice creamy casserole, not a dry as an Arizona desert casserole, which is no fun. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this together. Perfect. Easy, easy. Now, this is optional. I'm going to do a little bit of diced red pepper for color in here. If your kids don't do veggies, um, you don't have a red pepper, you don't feel like putting it in there, not a big deal. This is just going to add a little bit of color and a little bit of texture to the dish. Mac and cheese is still so much on trend. And, you know, now they're taking it to a whole other levels with, like, lobster mac and cheese and just fancy mac and cheese. And that's where I think this whole buffalo chicken mac and cheese got started, and you started seeing that at, at different restaurants. We also have some scallions to give a hint of onion flavor. Again, you can certainly leave these out. All right, time to start putting this whole thing together. Our chicken is done. It's got a nice, nice little color on it. We're going to drain our penne pasta. And if it's a little undercooked, that's actually a good thing. Um, because, again, it's going to bake again in the oven, and if you overcook it, um, you're going to be stuck with mushy pasta, and that's, that's never good. This would actually be fun. I love to get something in the kids' stomachs, and I know we're going to have a house full uh, tomorrow night before they go out trick-or-treating, so this would be a fun thing to serve. Okay, so we're going to take our pepper and our scallions. Get those in there. Thank you, Anne. Our penne pasta, or whatever kind of pasta you decide to use. Our chicken breasts. Cannot believe that it's going to be November this weekend. I, I'm just like, yikes, where did October go? Although it was a lovely month. And then we're going to take this sauce. Get every little last bit of this sauce. We have a surprise in the studio. We can't wait to show you. Anne is so excited. So stick around. We've got a big surprise coming up in just a minute. All right. So get that buffalo cream sauce out of there. Now we're going to have, the recipe calls for four cups of shredded uh, like a Mexican blend cheese, or you could just do cheddar. So we're going to do a couple of cups in here now, 
and then the rest of it is going to go on top of this casserole. So I've got a nice, great big casserole dish. that we're going to spray with cooking spray. This is a perfect make ahead. You could make this today and then serve it this weekend or tomorrow. It'll, it'll keep in your refrigerator for a couple of days before baking. It holds up really well. And it's just something a little different. And then we're going to cover the top with the extra cheese. And then some panko breadcrumbs. I'm all about the crunchies on top. So we've got some panko breadcrumbs here, which are my, one of my favorite casserole toppings. Uh, this is a pretty quick bake. 350, bake it right uncovered. Um, and it takes about 30 to 40 minutes. I want to show it to you because it's absolutely beautiful and it smells divine. And people are going to be asking, for this recipe. If you're looking for a new fall casserole recipe, yeah, this is it. Be perfect also for game day. And wow, oh, top gets all um, wonderful and, and brown. And then inside you've got that creamy pasta and then that kick of heat with the buffalo chicken. This is a winner. We'll put the recipe on our website.